This demo video shows screen, content, and playlist setup using Setup Wizards. Do Publicity Digital Signage Manager includes 50 built-in templates that may be previewed before you decide your advertising strategy. These templates can be used for advertising up to 10 products or services and are available in five color combinations to suit personal and product choice. We can view a couple of samples here. This is a 10 product sample in blue color. Or we can see a two product sample in green color. Or a one product sample in orange color. The software also has the ability to turn the screen on or off and in the process saves power cost while extending screen life. This may be set up through the Edit Screen Wizard. The screen can be set with a variable time slot for each day of the week for better management. For purposes of this demo, we will set the screen to Suspend Display on weekends. Clicking here opens the Edit Screen Wizard. Click Next. This displays the screen name. Contact information, all of this or some of this can be edited depending on your requirements. On this screen we disable Saturday and Sunday as we want the screen to run from Monday to Friday with the weekends off. This shows the time slots per day, allowing you to have variable time slot for each day of the week depending on your preference. You could also have a half day working on Saturday with Sunday off depending on your work schedule. As we see here, it shows Saturday and Sunday with a red light, which basically indicates that these are non-working days. The blue light indicates operating hours, and in this case of Saturday and Sunday, no information is shown. That's how simple it is to set up the working days and hours of the week. Setting up content is easy using the Add New Content Wizard which is accessible in the Content Setup section. In this demo we will create three pieces of content which will be added to the library. The first one will be a template based content. To start, click on the button that says click here to add new content. This opens the Add Content Wizard. We click Next and give it a title. We will call it Glove Shoes. Click on the Next button and stay on the Template-based content selection. Click Next. We have options of using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, or 10 product templates. We stick with the one product and click Next. Select the green color template. Click Next. This is an image of what the template looks like and it will be customized with pictures and text. We upload a picture of the shoes we are looking for. Next we give it some textual content. Click Next and then on the Finish button. That's how simple it is to create a template based content. Let's take a look at what we created. Click on the View button. There we go. That was a demo of creating template based content. Next, we will add an image based content. We open the Add New Content Wizard again. Next, we give it a title. For images, we can use either a GIF, JPEG, BMP, or PNG format file. Click Next and select the file. That's it. That's been added too. Click on View to see the ad. That's exactly what we're looking for. We will now add video based content. Click here to add new content. Next, give it a title. We call it Video Ad. Next, click on Custom Content. 
The video file can be in SWF, WMV, AVI, MPG, or MPEG format. Select Next and pick Video File. That's been added to the library too. Click on the View button to see what it looks like. That's done too. That's how simple it is to create content for digital signage. Next, we add the content to a playlist and schedule for display. Adding content to the playlist is as simple as creating it. We click on Click Here to Add Content to Playlist button, which opens the Add to Playlist wizard. Click Next. These are the three ads we created that need to be scheduled in the playlist. So, let's take glove shoes for example. We click Next. We can pick the start and end date, the days of the week we would like it to display. In this case, let's set it to display on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We disable Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We need this ad to run all day and enable it for 24 hours. We click Next. This is going to be playlist number one, and the duration of the ad is going to be 30 seconds. Click Next and Finish. We have now added the first ad to the playlist. Similarly, we can go ahead and add the image and video ad to the playlist. We will schedule this to run five days of the week other than the weekend and set for 24 hours. Playlist number two. And that's added too. Now the video ad. We will schedule this to run in the future, running from Saturday to the end of the month. This will run just on the weekends. And only during the evening hours. We schedule it to run for 60 seconds at playlist number three. That's how simple adding content to Playlist is. You can edit, view, or delete these ads at any time. Once you have the content and Playlist set up, you are ready to start displaying your digital signage content. Clicking on the Run Display button will open a new window that will fill your screen and display your content. You don't have to set any screen resolution as the software will scale automatically and take care of it. You can view Display History by clicking on the Display Logs button. Display History shows the date, time, content name, and duration of the display. This information is available for the last 30 days. Use Screen Options to set the startup page. Turn remote services on or off. Set the remote service update frequency, display closing instructions, and enable text debugging for technical support. The most important feature here is the ability to set the screen to start displaying as soon as the application starts. Setting Run Display as the initial startup screen will get the application to do so.
Assuming you have activated remote service and set up the screen options feature, you can click the remote updates button to get the latest updates you may have created through the Do Publicity website. The remote service feature allows users to display multiple split screen layouts, scrolling banner for custom messages and RSS feeds, remote management of one or more screens for content, playlist, and screen display reporting. The remote services update takes place at set periodic intervals without disrupting display or other settings. The application can be set to start automatically on the PC starting by clicking on the File tab and Startup Options button. Thanks for taking the time to learn about Do Publicity Digital Signage. We recommend you download and test the software using the 30 days free trial.